Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, so, so I'm the recruiting manager here in Fort Worth, Texas. So, did you look for a... Are you looking for a um, a um, a local driving position? Uh, no, actually, we we was in a we was in a group text, and it sparked no. it, it sparked a conversation about uh, what you guys have to offer. But okay. she asked she oh. she kind of like reached out to me personally because there was a few. Give you my number. I, yeah. So, so we're based in Fort Worth, Texas. We're, I mean, predominantly we're an OTR company. You know, we're in 48 states. We're very heavy on the West Coast. We're running about 130 trucks, 300 trailers, and pretty much a new fleet of trucks. Mm-hmm. Pretty much everything coming out of Fort Worth is a dedicated lane. Um, so it's really, you know, I do have some local positions available where you can be home every night, but it's really down to you. What are you looking to do, sir? Well, what, 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 type, of, uh, what, what type of freight do you guys haul? It's all it's all drive on no touch freight. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, what uh, what um, how much experience you guys looking for? I, me personally, you have to have I, a minimum. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you have to have a minimum of two years. A minimum of three years. Two years. Oh, two years, two years, two years. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Do you do you guys? Let me ask you this: Do you guys help drivers that don't have their CDLs? Do you help them to get? No. All right. No, so. we don't. We don't big enough to do that. I mean, I know a lot of them do that. The large companies, you know, but we we don't. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, I didn't ask. The, what? How you pronounce the name of the company? It's Balkan. B A L K A N. Balkan okay. Express. Balkan Express. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, and, and we've been doing business about 17 years, 16, 17 years, you know, so we were established. Okay, okay. Uh, what's the what's the starting pay? Now, let me ask you this: is it is the starting pay across the board, or or is it for or is it a variance for drivers that have experience? How you've run over the past few years. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's 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 a variance of that, but you know, we we paint around, you know, the. 50 55 cents a mile oh, okay all right is that w2 or 1099 it's uh it's uh it's company employee w2 w2 all right all right what type yeah. of benefits do you guys offer um after 90 days you get health vision and dental okay okay no 401k or nothing like that no Oh, okay. But as far as uh, as far as health insurance, is it is it company paid or half paid? Um, I believe it's like a contribution by both sides. I think it's like a fifty fifty. But I mean, again, I can I can send you that information later on if that's something you're interested in seeing. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, for drivers' home time. Now you say you're offering a, a variance of uh, of different lanes that you guys offer. Um, I'm out of Ohio, so. Uh, what lane that you guys will offer offer me? Well, right now I don't know. I'm a recruiter. I have to look at. We have to talk to one of my dispatchers. But I mean, I know we go to Ohio. I know we're in that area. Okay. You know, I have like containers on Tuesday morning. So I mean, basically, the this, this is how typically it works out. If you are interested, I typically ask you to send me your license and your email address. I then run your MVR and PSP. Once you're good, add it to insurance. Then we'll talk about lanes and, you know. But, I mean, if you're living in Ohio, you know, you want to get back weekly, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right. So, let's just say, you know, for my home time, uh, w- let's say if I want to, you know, get home every week or something like that, would it be a full, yeah. would it be a full two days off or would it just be a 34 I can't. I can't answer that question. I really don't know until I look at the lane. I it's you. difficult to tell. I, I, I don't want to tell you too. It might be just your thirty-four hour reset. So, oh, I, um, I, I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. You know, so it's. I mean, I don't want to oversell this. I mean, it is what it is. We're a trucking company, right? We get you home when we can. But I mean, if you're going to take a reset, why not take it at home as opposed to stuck in your truck, right? Exactly. You know. Exactly. So, you know, and it's, uh, we're not, we're not typically like most companies. We, you know, we do get our guys home on a frequent basis. Mm-hmm. Um, so, 
But yeah, I mean, this is my this is my if you if you do want to do a little bit more, this is my uh, my personal cell phone number. Send me the front copy of your license. Tell me how long you've held that license and your email address. And then you know we use the teller app. I can sell you. I can send you that to fill out. It takes you. You know, if you've already filled one of those out, you just put in your name and it auto populates all your information. And we go for that. Awesome. I I do have a I only have a few more questions. You mind you mind if I go in and knock them out? Questions are good. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Uh what type of equipment that you guys offer and, and what's the trucks governing that? So my oldest truck well right now my oldest truck is a twenty twenty, but basically in the next couple of weeks my oldest truck will be a twenty twenty one. So yeah, it's twenty twenty ones up through twenty twenty two, so that's what we have. It's uh they're either gonna be um, KWT 680s or they're going to be uh, Peterbilt's. Okay. What are they governing that? Uh, 70. Oh, okay. Okay. Shoot. That's that's on point. Uh, driver cameras. Uh, what's, what's the amenities? I would say so. Our, I, I would only that are only activated under, you know, heartbreaking condition. Gotcha. Uh, all right, so we are, you know, as far as the lanes, we probably can't go into too much detail about that because uh, you'll find out don't. more for the from the dispatchers, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys offer a sign-on bonus? Depends. Depends on you know how badly we need you. I mean, so like I said, everything's based on your PSP MBR, um, and it's based on you know right now, do we how badly do we need drivers? Uh, so, I mean, we, we've done sign-on bonuses in the past. It's not huge, to be honest. It's like a, it's not a lot at all. So, it, it's not we're not one of these companies that say we're going to pay you twelve grand and split it over like three years. It don't work like that. If I'm going to give you a sign-on bonus. I'll give you like five hundred the first month, five hundred the second month. It'll be it'll be something like that. It'll just be a small sign-on bonus. Oh, that's a good answer right there. That that's a good honest answer right there. How bad do you need well, I'm drivers? Not, I'm not not stringing you on with like twelve grand over two years. I'm gonna. I mean, it, it's BS, and you know, it, I'm. I'm not into games. It, you know, I'm. I'm wanting drivers that want to work, that want to earn money. I mean, if it work for me, you know, my top drivers are doing around thirty-seven hundred miles a week. You know, average probably around three thousand miles a week. So, you know, it. It is what it is. But you know, at, at, at three thousand miles a week, you know, it's around seventeen hundred bucks a week at the minimum. Well, uh, another question that I, that I have started asking and I, I got in my repertoire right now because, you know, COVID came in, came in and, and disrupt everything from, you know, from shutting down uh, to everybody wearing yeah. masks and now this new vaccine mandate. So I'm going to have to ask, yeah. uh, are, are you guys now or in the future is going to require a vaccine uh, for for us drivers to be vaccinated in order to drive for you? No, I don't know. Okay, that's what's up. No, all right, all I right. mean we, we we can't do that. I mean we we can't do that. I mean it's uh, I mean Biden's trying to push that through. It's it's actually you know it's against your. I mean I'm from England, so I really don't know you, but it's against your constitutional rights, right? So I mean we, I mean I do, do I think you should get vaccinated? Yeah, I mean I've been vaccinated. Do I mask, do I wear masks still in public? I have to do, you know. Um, so it's, it's really down to the individual for their preferences. But am I going to force somebody to do something they don't want to do? Definitely not. All right. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, I I, I really do appreciate that you're taking the time to, a to answer my questions. I will definitely take this back to the Facebook group that me and Maya was in. And let them, yep. know, and let them know that I have uh, that I have talked to you. Because, you know, a couple of guys, you know... <laughs> They, you know, they, they appear, they, their opinions vary from, you know, from driver to driver. And it's, it's a few of them in there that got some very intense opinion of you guys. So, so yeah, so, but I, I appreciate that you. On the bad, on the bad side, you mean? Yeah, on the, yeah, on the bad side. <laughs> well, let, let's be honest. If they're not working for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'll be honest, you know, we, we as a company, you know, if, if you're a truck driver and you're a good truck driver, you'll still be working for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we don't do, I mean, we, we have good equipment. We pay. I mean, we're not a company that doesn't pay. So we pay you. We give you the miles. Mm -hmm. And I will say sometimes it's not a fit of where they live. But typically, it's, it's down the driver that screws this up. Now, you know, we, we, we appreciate drivers and my dispatchers. 
you know, we put my driver first among everyone else. We know drivers. We don't have any company, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, we try to do the best we can, but in this world, it's, it's not that easy, right? There's always, you know, there's always conflict so. between people, you know, some people are never happy, you know, so it's, it, I get it. I, I totally get it. But yeah, I mean, certainly take you back to the group, and, uh, have a chat, and I'll be in touch with where it goes. They basically is always something. <laughs> yeah. What was your name, sir? My name's Shine. My name's Shine. Sean. All right, man. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. All right. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Later. Bye. Balkan out of Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, what do you guys think of that call right there? You know, I mean, I got the... You know, the young lady reached out to me in Messenger, and she was throwing the question around, like, yo, why why do you want to know of drivers' bad experience? Why? Well, you know, I, I'd say why the experience from the driver of that particular company would be, you know, would be a footprint in your research when you, when you go to vet these companies. You know, I mean... You can you can upsell the company that you want because you're trying to get the driver, you're trying to entice the driver to come in to your company. And I get that. I get that. And I understand that. You know, you 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 try to upsell, you know, you you selling all of the good points of what the company has to offer. But then as a driver, when I get there and then I start working for you. Then I start seeing some of the intricacies that I like and I don't like. So why not talk to the driver about the company and get his opinion on on what he do for you? You know, whether whether it's good and or bad, you know, you still you, you got to take the good. You got to take the good with the bad anyway. You know, there's going to be a lot. There's not going to be a lot of happy drivers out here. They're just not, you know, but it's also based on the individual, the individual experience as well. So. I can get all the good stuff that you can give me. I will take it. And I would be like, oh, okay. But before I make my final decision, let me just talk to a couple of your drivers to see how they feel. And with that said, if any of the drivers that drives for Balkan out of Fort Worth, Texas, let me know in the comments below, you know, how they treated you, you know, whether good or bad, you know. Um, reach out to me you know the the phone number is always in the text that you guys can reach out to me and we can and we can chop it up ben, 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 ben. hello hey sean yes sir you just spoke to me a second ago so it just it just rang a bell who you are i remember that you're the guy that you're not the driver you're the podcast guy right yes i am Cool. So, how do we? I mean, obviously, you know, any and well, I say and any publicity is better than none. But that that's not the case in trucking. So, and I know that when you spoke to Maya originally, or she spoke to you, it you was really looking for negative things about trucking no, companies. Not no, 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 no. See, 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 that's what that's what initiated the conversation. No. What okay. what I what I do and what my podcast is about is uh, is about getting information out there for drivers that may or may not be interested in your company. I'm not here to throw oh, you, I, I'm not here to throw you up under the bus by any means. Oh, if, in, if any, if that's good. No, that's right. If any, if anything, if anything, it's a win win situation because once. I put the information out there. I got a I, I got a network of truckers, a network of viewers, yeah. a network of uh, social media that takes what that takes what I say for value. So if I call yeah. if I if I call you up and spotlight you, like we you know when I when I spotlight you, then that will give yeah. that you know the information that you give me is what I'm going to put out there for it. I mean for you. And then if anybody yeah. say, "Hey, oh, okay, well, I heard that from the Lockout Man podcast show. Let me go ahead and give this guy a call." 
But I also I I also want to hear from the drivers and their experience too. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now you know I get, I get I get it's it's on both fronts. I get drivers that has good experience with companies, and then I got drivers yeah. that has bad experience with companies. But over yeah. overall, people got to understand that it's their experience, not as a whole. Yes. Interesting. So yeah, I mean maybe we can work together on some projects. I don't know. I mean oh, you no, know no, um, no doubt no doubt. I'm all I'm you know, I'm very open. I, like I said, I. My 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 objective here, because I've been doing this for so long and, you know, I have a track record to prove it. But I mean, if you like if, if you like to, you know, if you like to come on, if you like to come on again and, and like to promote, I don't charge. See, another thing with me is that I don't charge for promotion. I just ask for a donation and that's about okay. it. So, you know, if you want me to, you know, want to sponsor the channel and all like that and I just say, hey, this uh you know this channel is sponsored by like right now i got arthur express they uh they sponsoring the channel right now so if you want yeah, to you know if you want to sponsor the channel you know i could say yeah. hey you know balkan express out of fort worth uh fort worth uh texas uh here's yeah. the intelli link go ahead and uh you yeah. know fill out the application via the intelli link and tell them lockout man sent you yeah, no. So how many, I'm just curious, how many followers do you have on your podcast? Uh, on my podcast, as far as, as far as subscribers go, I have, yeah. well, I have well over 50, 50, 50,000 subscribers. Um, as far as the, as far as the social media part go, I have a gang of, uh, of groups that I'm in. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, you get back on the group, chat with Maya. I know you're sure to talk with us. So, but you know, when when uh, you know, let's get some feedback, and maybe we can talk about sponsoring the show, and you know, me giving you some more information at some point about how we're growing, what we're looking to do, and no doubt, you know, no, no doubt, no doubt. You got you got the number. Reach out to me, and I'm I'm very happy to help. That's that's what I'm oh. all about. All right, Sean, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. You have a great day. You're welcome.